Swift's return. Actress Liz Dawn, who plays Vera, popped into the Biz Studio to tell me about that and her new house party video. Liz, everybody must come up to you and say, Vera, tell me this, tell me that. Oh, How? they do, they go, How, how's your Jack? When are you going to get him some new glasses? As if it's my fault. <laughs> and I go, well, it's four pints to him. <laughs> or it's, uh, what's he doing today? And I say, it's either down the cellar or he's feeding the pigeons. So do people really find it hard to change your, you as Liz? As soon as they sue me. I can be looking at knickers in Marks and Spencers <laughs> uh, and, and they'll start asking me things. And it, but then it's nice, isn't it? People must Friendly. come up to you all the time. Do you never get fed up of that? Well, no, you get used to it over the years. I mean, at first it's nice to be recognised and be in magazines and one thing or another. And then you go through another phase where you think, God, I'm sick of this, I can't go anywhere. But then you sort of think, well, this is a job. This is You can't be on telly three times a week, can you? And not be recognised. No. In uh, everyone's home. I mean, you're in that living room, aren't you? I know. It's amazing. <laughs> I never thought I'd been it this long. Really? Mm. 24 years is a long time. It is, love, isn't it? Have, think... you ever just, have you ever come up against a moment when you think, right, that's it, I've had enough, I'm leaving? Oh, now. well, I think everybody does in every job. You go, oh, can't go, I'm, oh, I'm packing it in, no life, you know, <laughs> filming and one thing or another. But uh, I think that's quite normal, don't you? Every yeah. so often you get fed up. But the funny thing is, you know, I've grown older with Vera. And I've grown, grown older with the other characters and the other actors and actresses. It's really strange. It's like one big family. Well, yeah. It's, well, it's like, yeah. Yeah, it's weird. Now, you do the show three times a week. How did you have time to do this video? Vera's house party, or Liz Dawn's house party, <coughs> should we say? Well, I've had uh, three... This is the third week off. Uh, I start back next week. Uh, and I've enjoyed it, actually. So what is it? What's the house party? Tell us about it. Well, it's just, at first I thought, oh, it'd be lovely to be on an audience with. But then I thought, oh, wouldn't it be nice to have a party with friends, you know. So, basically, it's actually Don's in it, the video, my husband. And it's really strange, you know, because it starts off with a bedroom scene. Uh, not a bedroom scene, what's up with oh, me? A breakfast scene. Oh, we were thinking it was going to be an ex, isn't it? <laughs> a breakfast scene. And I think it's we've got on my party, uh, birthday. And unknown to me is ask friends around. And it's how you go through it, you know, like uh, Russell Grant, I ask him who to invite because I want everybody to get on. <laughs> do you two get on well in real life? Yeah, I think you have to do. And I've been lucky, we've, we've both been lucky that we do get on. You know, we've never had a row. Are you both like the characters, Jack and Vera? Uh, like the characters? Yeah. Um, well, I don't, it's funny that because, like me, I've got, four children. I've got four grandchildren. I live in quite a nice house. So my life's completely different, you know, uh, to Vera's. I mean, sometimes I think, I wish I lived in this street. <laughs> You'd have to film in. They go, wrap, that's cut. And there you are, cup of tea, think, oh, up. Oh, <laughs> yeah, stone cladding, get in. Um, yeah, sometimes I think the street's like that. They're friendly, aren't they? Now, there was a lot of rumours about um, Lim when Lynn Perry left. She said how there was a lot of press about how you and her had a lot of rows on set in Coronation Street. Oh, in Street. Coronation Street, yeah. did she? I didn't, I, I didn't read that. Yeah, did you ever have rows with her? Was that true? Or did you, no. did you get on well with her? No, I did. We were all right, yeah. Everybody gets on, really. Do you think it's quite sad when somebody does leave the street? Because obviously, you know, it is, it's quite well, a tight it is place. sad because um, everybody gives a lot to the programme. I mean, like Julie Goodyear, she'd been in it 25 years. Fantastic actress, Lynn Perry, brilliant actress. Um, you do miss them, you know. And uh, are you pleased that Jack and Vera have now got the pub? Got the pub. Well, it's funny, actually, because um, we spent half his time walking the door towards the bar. And then when you're behind the bar, and it's a different thing altogether. <laughs> you know, I'm actually seeing the characters and the people differently from that side of the bar. Strange. Did you ever imagine 24 years ago that you would be there behind that bar? Never. No, never. But you see, I don't know, I thought our house were important. Everybody's set is important. I mean, I know the Rovers is the, part of the set Meeting where place. people meet up. But every set is important yeah. to the show, isn't it? And every character... I think so, anyway. Yeah, definitely so. I mean, you, Vera, made her house very unique with the stone cladding. Does she have any plans for the Rovers? 
She's well, going to change the decor there. Well, I did say I think she'd have checked tablecloths on. You know, <laughs> knives and forks for the hot pot or something. <laughs> you know, and I did suggest the caricatures. Have you seen them uh, over the piano? Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, that you've was seen your the suggestion. hips on Vera. <laughs> they were like that. I thought, well, they're right. I'm getting fatter. <laughs> but I think on the video, the funny thing is, uh, when you, you've gone for years avoiding the camera, and then to involve the audience, uh, the viewer, or whoever buys it, it's strange then looking into the camera. You are very good to your fans as well, aren't you? You do like them a lot. Because what's the story about um, you actually went to Manhattan and met up with a couple of them? They got married. Yeah, oh! well, you were a witness at the wedding. They married at the top of the Empire State Building. And there's me, I can't go to the top of a six story block of flats without air stands up on my neck and <laughs> my legs go funny. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. And you ended up a witness at their wedding. That's right. Crying your eyes out. I know. God. <laughs> yeah, it's that. Uh, all the fans, you see. And I've always said this. There are soap people that watch every soap. Every soap. They know every character. And, I mean, I like soaps. I like to watch. And But I think the street just has that edge. It's been going so long and people have grown up with it. And, and it does maintain that standard of, you know, um, good stories. I mean, yeah. everybody can have a bad story, can't they? So can't tell us, what, what gossip's coming up? What can you tell us about forthcoming storylines? Storylines? Yeah. Do you know, I never know them. Really? Do you not no, know I anything in advance? Wrong. I get my script um, the Tuesday of the week that I'm doing that That week. show. Um, and I never ask. Well, you know, with all the royal stuff that's going on at the moment, do you think Vera ever gets the chance to uh, actually meet the Queen or Princess Di? Oh, I think I think it's we've got to have it, and we've got to have somebody royal walking through the Rover's door. Well, you could probably get Fergie to come round, and Fergie. I mean, because Vera is royal anyway, isn't she? She well, could come she, to tea. I know. <laughs> and did you see her on the awards? I can't believe yeah. it. <laughs> the television awards. I think she's got some, you know. A bit of something about her to do with that. Now, last year, um, Coronation Street did win the Best Serial Drama at the Television Awards. Yeah. And this year they lost out to EastEnders. Do you mind that? No. Is there a little bit of rivalry between the soaps? Last year we won three. There were three uh, awards last year. And it's nice for other people to win things. I suppose you need a bit of space on your mantelpiece, <coughs> really. If you got them every time, you'd yeah. have no space left. I w I'd, I'd like to have been there, but it was a good atmosphere. Do you I feel any rivalry busy. with uh, Barbara Windsor because she's now running the uh, the Queen Vic and you've got the Rovers? It's no, <laughs> I just think she'll work hard. <laughs> she'll be doing what we're doing, you know. Yeah, and they're supposed to be going five times a week. Oh, is he saying this? Yeah, it's supposed to be. All There's right. all these rumours that are going to be more and more episodes a week. Yeah. Could you ever imagine Coronation Street doing uh, five nights a week? Well, I mean, when we went on three eps, people said we'd never do it. Now we're going to four. I mean, who knows? I mean, um, we just have to wait and see, don't we, really? Excellent stuff. Well, we look forward to seeing Liz Dawn's house party. Thank you very much. For well, coming. I hope you invite me back. I've really enjoyed it. Thank you. I certainly will. <laughs> and that's all we've time for. It had started so well for Liam Gallagher and fiancé Patsy Kensett. Following a record-breaking year for Oasis, the group scooped the top prize.